There is one trait that I believe we as an ummah, as a people, have really gone away from and we've forgotten. And that was the trait of focusing. What do I mean by focusing? We have lost our ability to really focus on a person or a subject matter. Let me give you an example. There's a hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that when, or, or when they were describing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they said that whenever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, just the simple aspect of having a handshake and greeting someone, Whenever our beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam would greet another person, he would literally turn his body and face them directly, looking them in the eyes, and he would say salam to them. He would shake their hand firmly, not, not one of those half handshakes. He would shake their hand firmly, and he would look at them, focusing upon them and not here and there. You know, a lot of times we go, and, I'm, and I've, I've got to work on this big time for myself, but you know how when we're standing and someone's passing by and they go, hey, salam alaikum, and you're like, hey, wa alaikum salam, and you're still standing and talking to someone else and focusing on someone else? That wasn't the way the Prophet sallallahu did things. The way the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to greet others is he would go and he would turn to them, his body, he would square up his body and he would look at them and then he would greet them. Them. When he would speak to them, he would focus directly on them. And I want you to take an understanding and look at how important this character, is, this characteristic is. This trait of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And you know, if I was in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, obviously the one who is being spoken to, number one, you're in awe of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was someone that subhanallah was just beautiful. Mashallah, he was so handsome. You would just be, you would just be engulfed in the handsomeness and the nur that was emanating from him. The light that was emanating from the Prophet sallallahu would just lure you to look at him. But the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam put yourself in his position. He was the messenger of Allah. He was the last Nabi, Khatim al nabiyin and this Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in today's leaders, if you look at them, they just blow everyone else off because they think, okay, I'm better than you. Some of them, not all of them, but a lot of the leaders today blow people off. But this leader was not only the leader of all the Anbiya. And remember, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahu Akbar, on the night of Isra wal Mi'raj, when he went from uh, uh, when he went from Mecca to Masjid al Aqsa in in uh, in Palestine. When he got there, he led all of the prophets into Raqqa of Salah. He was known as Imam al -Anbiya. And this Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he would meet anyone, anyone, he was approachable to anyone. It wasn't this celebrity uh, 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 stuff that was going on. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made himself available to everyone. And now look at this, Allahu Akbar. I'm sorry, I'm getting excited, but it's just when I think about how awesome Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, I just want to just, oh, SubhanAllah, I wish I could just see him and be with him and just hug him. But Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would turn and he would focus and he would look at them directly in the eye and he would talk to them each and every individual and he would listen he wouldn't interrupt but he would listen and the key is he would focus on every individual now i want you to look at yourself me included and think about how many conversations we've had especially during lockdown how many conversations have we had with our loved ones and we've literally had them where I'm standing in the kitchen and my kids are sitting at the table, my back is towards them and I'm making something uh, or I'm cleaning dishes or we're doing something and we're not even looking at each other. The connection and the bond goes. But now imagine, and for those of you that are married, I want you to try this at home. Imagine you sit down and you look at your spouse or your children or your child and you look at them in their eyes and you talk to them and have a meaningful conversation and then you tell them by looking at them directly in their eyes and you say, you know what, mom, dad, you know what, son, daughter, 
you know what, wife or for the sister's husband, I love you. And you say it with sincerity, looking at them in their eyes. Subhanallah. That feeling that you get is completely different. Just like when you're looking and talking to someone and they are focused on you. Your body language says, I'm focusing on you. And your words, you're quiet, you're listening to someone talking to you. It makes a world of difference. Communication, focus, and giving someone value and respect, what the Prophet of Allah did, will remove 95% of the problems of this world. Our world is suffering because we are too busy not focusing on communicating with one another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever he would shake anyone's hand, he would turn towards them and he would say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Everyone was special to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everyone, if you look at hadith, if you look at even those that were against the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Lahab goes to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even after he had danced in joy, Audhu Billah, even after he had danced in joy, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lost his son, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a night when it was raining like crazy, and this is in the desert, where they didn't have umbrellas and all this other stuff. In the middle of a storm, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comes to the door of Abu Lahab and he says to him, Oh, my uncle, la ilaha illallah say la ilaha illallah and gain success. And he focused and he looked at him and he was asking him with sincerity, even though he was abused and he was spoken bad about, physically abused by the same uncle. Yet, he still had the trait of mercy. And he had the trait of focus. Focusing on what? Being the best example of a Muslim that you could be.